Hey, what's up? It's Matt in Japan, and welcome back to my channel. It's been a hot minute here, just trying to catch up on some reviews. This being one of them, here we have Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy Netflix series, Autobot Bumblebee. And this guy is a recolor, slight retool of the Earthrise Cliff Jumper. So we'll just be doing a very quick review. I'm not going to go into articulation and things like that. Just more like some comparisons and things like that. So without further ado, we have the really cool Netflix packaging. I really like this packaging. It's very, uh, very different from the Earthrise packaging. So let's get in close there. You have Bumblebee in the packaging. You see up top here, you have Netflix, a Netflix original series, Takara Tomi. Generations logo, Transformers down the side, Autobot Bumblebee, there it is. And on the side, you do get a very cool shot, sort of uh, very static pose of Bumblebee there. Again, original series. And on the bottom, you have product information. On the top, you have that same Transformers more than meets the eye and the sort of splattered ink. And then you do have a sort of black and white and red uh, Earthrise picture there for the... Netflix series. There you go, the authentic logo, War for Cybertron Trilogy. My box is a little bit beat up here. But on the back, you have Bumblebee, and he converts in 20 steps into his really cool Volkswagen Beetle mode. And this is a official licensed product by Volkswagen, so that is very, very cool. So, without further ado, let's get Bumblebee open and see what he's all about. All right, so here we have Netflix series Bumblebee out of the packaging. Let's get up close, take a look at the head sculpt. Very cool, I really dig the head sculpt. Some nice uh, sculpted detail on the helmet there with the silver paint for the face and some very light blue painted eyes. Kind of wish the eyes were a little bit darker, it tends to fade into the face a little bit. There's not a lot of contrast there, but nonetheless, it's very cool. You do get a little paint, silver paint for the windshield wipers here. Most of the figure is just done in the yellow plastic and and black so it's very uh, not a lot of paint apps on this figure you get a little bit of sculpted detail on the waist here and a little bit on the arms again um, very reminiscent of the cliff jumper mold um, and you do get some silver paint for the headlights and we'll see more of that in car mode but yeah just uh, just didn't want to go into too much detail here as we've seen this mold uh, I think maybe this is the fourth time so the cliff jumper and uh, hubcap, bug bite, bumblebee. I think this is the fourth, if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, be interesting to see uh, if there's any mold degradation. Now, speaking of mold degradation, I was just playing with the uh, the weapon that he does come with, and I will show you Cliff Jumper's weapon first. Uh, one of the really nice things about this, this was the first uh, the first mold of this gun. So, when you take these two pieces apart, we have that really nice pop, and it's a really tight fit. So um, I was just looking at the bumblebees. Now take a look at this. See how loose that is? It doesn't have that sort of pop. It's very loose. Um, it actually does kind of kind of wiggle a lot once you have them together. So um, that right there, um, I think maybe they're uh, losing the uh, losing the control on this uh, on this on this weapon. I'm not sure about the the figure itself, but this is very flimsy. Very, it doesn't you know it, it's. It doesn't fit in very tightly at all. So, um, anyways, comparing the two um, weapons, I'm not going to do the other, you know, all the other, like the skis and, and the other thing that goes on the back here. Just want to show you the difference between the two guns. Bumblebee does, does come with that sort of gunmetal gray paint. And the paint is really nice. Um, I do like it. I do like Cliff Jumpers as well with the silver. But there they are side by side. And again, um, it can come apart and be used as two separate guns. Uh, I do wish that they packaged him with a blaster or something. I don't remember Bumblebee using this big uh, cannon or these big guns in the Netflix series. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but um, speaking of, I, I think it would be a lot nicer if they included. This is the uh, MP uh, first version of uh, Bumblebee, and he did come with that nice, that nice blue blaster. I think it just fits the character better. Um, I really do wish they had you know, done something better with the weapon. But anyways, there he is with the first version of Bumblebee, the masterpiece. And um, they look pretty good together, actually. Um, an another kind of nitpicky thing is I wish he had an Autobot symbol on his chest. Um, it just seems very bare compared to the masterpiece. Um, you know, we do get it on his foot down there, which is very nice. But just comparing the two, 
And of course, the masterpiece is more cartoon accurate. And this Netflix series being more show accurate. So there they are side by side. And taking out the masterpiece Bumblebee and bringing in his original mold mate, uh, Cliff Jumper. Now again, I put that Autobot symbol on Cliff Jumper's chest just because I thought it looked nice. I might do the same with uh, Bumblebee. But there they are side by side. And again, same exact mold. Um, you can see the changes, the changes in the chest, of course, because of the nature of the Volkswagen uh, vehicle. And also on the back, you have um, you have the back of the Volkswagen Beetle on the back there. Other than that, same exact mold, different paint, a little bit more uh, details. We'll see that more in vehicle mode, but there they are side by side. So. Um, I, I will just leave Cliff Jumper there. We will just do a quick, I didn't say uh, articulation, I would get into articulation, but I am very curious uh, how this guy fares being the uh, sort of the fourth mold of this, uh, the fourth, fourth version of this mold. Um, the head seems very tight. Um, it can move a little bit up and down, side to side. It is on a ball joint. Um, actually, the arms seem very tight as well. Um, not a lot of degradation there, so the arms seem very nice. Um, the waist actually is very, very tight, so that's nice. Um, and the legs as well, they're very, very tight. So it uh, doesn't seem like there's a lot of mold degradation on this figure. So the ankle rocker joint is very tight as well. So it's very nice actually to see. Um, I think maybe maybe because I played with Cliff Jumper a lot, uh, you know, he seems to be a little bit looser. He's a little bit more worn in. But uh, just comparing the two, yeah, this Bumblebee has not really suffered any mold degradation. So that is very cool. So there they are side by side. And let's get Bumblebee transformed into his vehicle mode, see how we fare with that. All right, so here we have Netflix series Bumblebee all transformed into vehicle mode. And the transformation is the exact same as Cliff Jumper and all the other molds. And um, just to get in close on the vehicle mode, I did have a little bit of trouble. There's a little bit of gappage here where the back section doesn't quite uh, fit in here. So I, I took it apart a couple times, tried to, tried to put it back together, but everything's really solid and tight. Um, the whole transformation is, is very, is very tight. Everything pegs together really nicely, except for that sort of roof part. Um, just bringing in uh, Cliff Jumper here. You do get a little bit that, uh, that on Cliff Jumper, but not so much. So I kind of wish they had just uh, allowed for that a little bit of, maybe there should have been like a peg under there to hook it into or, Anyways, as it is now, you do see a little bit of gappage there, but it's not a big deal. So going around the uh, vehicle mode here, you do get some really cool uh, silver paint on the rims there with the little Volkswagen symbols there on the rims. You do get a little bit of silver paint picked out on the door handle. You get that nice clear blue plastic here. You do get some red painted taillights. Some nice molded detail and vents and things on the back with the black for the bumper. And same thing on this side, you do get the silver paint on the door handle and some silver paint on the headlights and you get your Autobot symbol as well as more silver paint for the Volkswagen logo and windshield wipers. And you do get a little bit of molded detail again for the front part here. So very nice. I really like this mode. Of course, I'm, I'm prone to uh, the, uh, the more you know, accurate G1 uh, Bumblebee uh, car form here with the Volkswagen. So speaking of, let's bring in the masterpiece and see how he looks with him. And um, yeah, so that's pretty accurate as far as the Volkswagen. Uh, I really like the shape. Uh, the color, the masterpiece color is a little bit more bright yellow. This is a little bit more, uh, a little more muted. But overall, yeah, they, uh, I mean, this is basically like a mini masterpiece here. So uh, very, very similar. And of course, the masterpiece has a little bit more detail, a little bit more uh, paint. But overall, it doesn't have the back, you know, spare tire part. But I actually kind of like this on the uh, Netflix series better. But I do like the uh, I do like the paint they use for these taillights on the masterpiece. So just putting them down side by side. There they are. Yeah, so they look very very cool together. And let's bring in. Oops, sorry about that. Let's bring in uh, Cliff Jumper here. And you can see Cliff Jumper seems to be a little bit taller even though it's the same mold. Of course, the Bumblebee uh, Volkswagen is going to be a little bit kind of stubbier and shorter, but there they are side by side. So yeah, uh, I, I think I'm going to... Uh, one thing also is you don't get the peg on the top, so there's no way to put his blaster in vehicle mode. There's nowhere to store it. There's nowhere really to, to put it on, whereas Cliff Jumper, you had that option, which is kind of nice. 
Um, but in retrospect, I kind of like the fact that they didn't put that. It just looks a lot cleaner. And, um, you know, I, I really don't care for that blaster, that cannon that he comes with. Kind of wish he had something different for a weapon. But it is what it is. So anyways, I will be using this as my sort of main Bumblebee figure uh, in the Earthrise slash Siege line. Speaking of, um, just this morning there's been some new Kingdom reveals. How about that Inferno and that Huffer? That looks awesome. Looks so great. I'm not so into the Beast Wars sort of side of Kingdom, but I definitely want to be picking up that Huffer and that Inferno. So uh, it's been really fun to see the reveals this week and I'm very excited. Um, I also do have a couple figures on the way. I won't tell you what they are, but please stay tuned and we will get into some more figures here. So thanks for watching. This has been Matt in Japan. Have a great day. Please like, comment, and subscribe.